Hi, in this video we are going to be discussing how to check cervix dilation. This is an important skill for midwives and other healthcare providers to know as it can give us an indication of how far along a woman is in her labor. There are a few different ways to check cervix dilation and we will be discussing two of the most common methods. The first method is called the vaginal touch method and the second is using a speculum. To start, we will discuss the vaginal touch method. This method is usually done with the women in a squatting position. The provider will insert their gloved finger into the women's vagina and then feel for the cervix. The cervix is located at the top of the vagina and it feels like a round, firm structure. The provider will then determine how much the cervix has opened by feeling for the amount of space between the cervix and the finger. The second way to check cervix dilation is by using a speculum. This is a tool that is inserted into the vagina and it allows the provider to see the cervix. The provider will look for the amount of space between the cervix and the walls of the vagina and will also look for any changes in the color or texture of the cervix. Once the provider has checked the cervix, they will then determine how much the cervix has dilated. Cervix dilation is measured in centimeters and the cervix will usually dilate at a rate of about 1 cm per hour. Inactive labor is when the cervix is dilating but the labor is not progressing. This can be due to several factors, such as the baby being in a posterior position. If the cervix is found to be dilated less than 3 cm, this is considered early labor. Active labor is when the cervix is dilating at the rate of more than 1 cm per hour. This is the time when most women will go into the hospital. Transition is the final stage of labor and it is when the cervix dilates from 8 cm to 10 cm. This is the most difficult stage of labor and this is when the baby is pushed through the cervix and into the world. After the cervix has been checked, the provider will usually give some information about what to expect next. They may also give her some suggestions for ways to cope with the pain of labor. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share it with your friends and family and write your valuable comment about this video. Also, you can check out our other videos.